Hey there peeps, Mimu here, and welcome to Digimon Lynx! I know, I know, I haven't played this game in a while. Very good reason, my tablet died. And I couldn't make it go to my iPad or else I'd lose all my Digistones. And so I had to wait and wait until my tablet was working again so I could actually play. But by that point, I had made so much content that I'm at the point of, should I play or should I not play? And that's the very difficult choice uh, we are faced with today. Um, so let's talk about that. And actually, as we're thinking about that, let's see what is new in this game since I've played last. So it seems like we have a Facebook event on the way, follow us. So what does it say? Thank you for playing for Digimon Links. Uh, we would like to let you know that the official Facebook account is underway. In our Facebook, you can find the latest events and campaigns. That is awesome. I'm glad y'all did that because sometimes finding information was a little tough. Okay, so Absolute Loyalty event has begun. I'm assuming this is ending Saturday because that's how their events always ended. It's ending on the 20th. It's ending in two days. So uh, for this, you can get um, meet special conditions and use certain characters to get a bonus like Marine Angemon, Titanomon, Cherubimon, Good, and Kasuamon. I only have one of those, if I remember correctly. This banner is just so cute. Like, all shades of cute. Based on y'all's comments, I might pick up the game again. Based on what y'all say. The Digivolve Booster um, Digivolve Boost Pack is still around. It's, it's a great offer if you're continuously playing this game. Completely and as if you are also not free to play. Let's see the next one, um, Coliseum Exchange update. Yes, the Coliseum is open and the exchange item has updated since you can trade various items, trade with the Coliseum and get anything you want. Um, the Absolute Loyalty event fully has a chip capture that has not changed. Basically you have chips, you can get more points if you have chips. More people will want to be in your party. That's all I got. <laughs> it's just, you know, one thing that bothered me was it was very, in order to, in order to advance quicker, you have to spend your Digistones on chip captures. And because if you went um, and found a party, you do a, um, any of the missions, they would leave if you didn't have a chip. And even if you had a decent Digimon, or you know, it, it was very chippist. <laughs> so that was kind of disappointing. And grinding these events without a chip was very hard to do. And you know, as somebody that doesn't have all day to do this, I, I can't, I can't compete. I couldn't compete um, unless I'd spend money, more money. You know, um, YouTube and streaming is a hobby and I can't give a hobby 90 hours of my week. <laughs> um, especially with all the other games we were playing. Uh, one Digimon um, is guaranteed. There's some ultimates like Air um, Vidramon and Sophiemon. Oh, the no Megas. I definitely think um, whenever the Megas are around is when it's worth um, pulling. And this is a Mega Festival with Marine Anjumon. Ten Megas will appear awakened. They have leader skills. At least one will be a Digimon with a leader skill. The other question is, the only Mega Digimon that will appear are those in the obtainable Mega Digimon list. Mega Digimon will appear unawakened, duplicate Digimon will appear, there are differences in the Digimon of the same name, such as metals or anything else. There's a rare chance of capturing a Digimon with an ability in metal. Rare capture content and dates are subject to change without notice. Um, yeah, this does not tell me that it's um, 
guaranteed. It's at Mega Festival, but it's not telling me. Some Megas will appear weekend. It's not telling me it's guaranteed. Yeah, the flawless skills don't seem very good. I, I completely agree. Um, I mean, let's look at capture. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem like anything's good. At least one. Oh my God. At least one per ten capture has a leader skill, and these are the megas that are available. Um, let's see. I like that they include what you could get. Um, I mean, it shows the megas you can get, but they're oh, and basically every mega and I mean not every ultimate is also here. Yeah, it doesn't say I'm um, guaranteed. From this capture, duplicate and Digimon may appear. Difference between Digimon. Yeah, it does not say um, guaranteed. If it's a guaranteed, I pull twice because that's as much as I could pull at this moment. Um, and we have the absolute loyalty um, chip medal, and then we have the medal, you know, pull, and the mega festival, and we could do rare captures. For the distance. Um, I never recommend pulling from the rare capture. Always go for like a featured beaner. And if they have a guaranteed mega, those are the ones you want. Also, let's see what else is new. Oh, we have presents. I only have two presents. Uh, my five digit stones. I assume anything else I had in there has expired. Breaking tablets is not what people think they're going to be doing with their day. Um, okay, so we have our daily missions, cumulative missions, um, none of these are ready for me to do. Um, I need to go do some Coliseum and other things to be able to get more for, what's it called, rewards. There's two days remaining on these uh, gather data bytes. Um, there's a Coliseum exchange. Maybe I'll work on the Coliseum a little bit so I can and get some of these exchanges. Okay, just down, sling points. Do you feel? Oh, I mean, I think that what what I would go for first of all, even though it seems to require the most, you know, the greater amount of coins, is um, the digivolution fuel here. Or Last but not least, let's go over to. Okay, so our Avon quest currently is for Metal Atmon. So, all I could do, Metal Atmon, you know, the quest for him. And we have the event for Absolute Loyalty. I will probably play through these and try to get my. Just get. Um, the digit stones for completing them because that will be you know kind of a priority you know get some digit stones but you know at the end of the day I really want to know what do y'all think should we and as we I mean me or y'all should I pick up Digimon links again or should we focus on different things this Friday which probably to be today and uh, depending on when I release this video um, I will be streaming earlier than usual actually I don't stream on Fridays and tomorrow Friday I will be streaming from 4 p.m. Central and we are gonna be playing Digimon <laughs> not links uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory I'll be starting that on my PS4 and I will be going all evening until I get too tired to play. But that is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. There will be some raffles here and there. So, you know, come on over. It'll be starting at 4 p.m. Central. You know, you know my links. They're, they're on the bottom, on the description. You can see them on the bottom of my screen here. Come on over. Watch, you know, have some fun. And all the Digimon Cyber Sleuth hype. And, you know... So, those are two pieces of homework. One, let me know should we come and pick up Digimon Links again. Two, sh you know, come on over for Digimon Cyber Sleuth today, Friday. 
the 19th. And last but not least, have you heard about the RPG game uh, that they're going to be releasing for mobile in Japan? Later in February, I believe, or it's going to be this month. But let me know what you think. Um, I'm excited to get some more Digimon in my life. So thank you all so very much for watching, and until next time, meow meow!